Hey, this is Pete DeFazio with F Body Warehouse, and today what we're going to show you is how to install one of these little jobbers. What this is, is this is your rear license plate light, mounts up under the rear bumper skin on a 1978 through 1981 Camaro, and also on a 1979 through 1981 Trans Am. What we got here, we got our 81 Trans Am back from paint. We're starting to do our reassembly on it, and I'm going to install a new one. So this sits basically up underneath the rear bumper cover right in there. What you'll do, there's going to be two Phillips head screws that go in straight up and down. You'll unscrew those, that will allow the old unit to drop down like so. On the old unit, if you look up here, what we have is we have our actual light. And what we did is we went through, we replaced our white bu light bulb, we went to a 168, which is a 3 candle watt. So this thing going down the road is going to look great, which helps because our license plate on this car is a custom tag. So what you'll do, you have your old one out, you unscrewed the two screws, taking the old busted up unit out. You're going to then, if you want, great time to do it, replace your bulb. And right here, right below the fuel tank on the driver's side, what you're going to see is there's a hole in your rear bumper cover. This will go into that hole, like so, and we'll give it a little twist around. And now if we look back, ta-da, there it is. So you take that, it's going to pop into this new socket, like so, it takes a half turn, and then we're going to scoot it back up, up and under the bumper cover. And we have two Phillips head screws that are going to hold this bugger in place. We'll go ahead and screw it down. Now when you're putting this in, it's pretty easy. You're just going to line it up with your fingers to the screw holes. And you push it on. And you line up your other one. Once again, you're going to line it up and line it on. And then if you take your finger and you tighten it a little and do that so each one is in place, then I'm going to scoot out of here and let you actually come down and see what I'm seeing. So scoot right up underneath there. As you can see, it sits up. The screws go on the outside of the skin. They're going to thread into the tunnels on the left and the right of the new unit. Now, to tighten these down as cake, all you want to do is try to keep the unit semi-centrally positioned. And you can do this by holding it with your hand. And then you just take your screwdriver and tighten it down. I'm going to go a little on the left and a little on the right. Now a lot of times when guys take their cars to the paint shop, what happens is the paint shop goes ahead and they paint the rear bumper cover, but they never bother to tape that off. And the average owner doesn't think to pull it off. So what you want to do is if you've had that happen in the past, you can replace this. And we've replaced this in under three, four minutes. The units cost about $15, shipping included. And we're all set. That's done, it's on. We're ready to put our taillights into this car.